It is strongly advised that all science experiments, recipes, and methods be attempted only under adult supervision. Adults are required to handle or assist with any potentially harmful utensils and ingredients. Always wash hands thoroughly after trying any experiment, avoid touching your face and eyes when performing any experiments, and if possible, wear glasses or safety goggles. Do not ingest any of the ingredients during or after performing this experiment. Have fun! Today we're going to be conducting an egg drop on summer school with live science. This experiment explores the engineering branch of our STEM series. Using whatever you have around the house and as few materials as possible, the family is going to be given quite the challenge as you all come together and try to design your own contraptions to save this egg. The mission, to create a contraption that will securely hold an egg and protect it from a four foot drop. Now today I'm going to be demonstrating my own design, but this experiment is intended for kids to come up with their own designs. With the help of a guardian or a parent, they can grow upon this experiment and make bigger contraptions meant to protect an egg at higher heights. First step, take an hour or two or a whole weekend to plan out your design. Sketch it out, write some notes, write the materials you're going to need, and then decide on which one you're going to go with. And then of course log your results. So the materials that I'm going to be using for my experiments uh, will involve eight paper straws, a pair of scissors, some scotch tape to hold the egg in place, which I will reinforce with electrical tape, and of course the star of the show, my egg. So here we go. looking thing right here um, is going to be my contraption. My strategy was to make sure that each side of the egg, each angle was in some way protected. I also wanted to secure the different points where the straws actually overlapped because if one breaks then there goes your egg of course so that was reinforced with electrical tape and I also made the last minute decision to trim down the sides and try to make them as even as possible because I figure if it were to land on a, a longer straw it might create a pressure point that could fracture the eggshell who knows I am not an engineer obviously I'm clearly displaying that right now but this was a more challenging project than I thought it would be uh, but definitely fun and a real brain teaser. So without further ado, let's drop this baby. Okay, so now I am standing on the bench. I would not recommend uh, standing on a bench to do this. I'm simply doing this for a presentation here, but uh, definitely go outside. Now if you, like me, are worried about wasting eggs, you can arrange for this tin to collect it and later make it into a cake or an omelet. And remember, this should not be done without parental supervision, so parents, you know, keep an eye on the situation. But for now, let's see how mine does. And I am going to lift this four feet high, uh, from the table that is, and hope that, uh, well, we don't have a big mess on our hands. Well, would you look at that, a perfectly intact egg. Don't see any cracks on this baby. I'll take it out of the packaging though so we can actually inspect it. Just take some of this scotch tape off, get our egg out. Um, don't want to break it, you know, that's the other part of this engineering uh, challenge is you want to make sure you can also get the payload out of its protective shell. And boom, we have an intact fractureless egg. I don't feel any yolk, it looks perfect and there is the casing that protected it from the effects of gravity. And what's the point of all this? To show kids the importance of engineering and how meticulous and methodical it has to be in order to protect precious cargo. 
but also it explores the basic concept of gravity, force, and acceleration, as well as resourcefulness. These contraptions are meant to simulate real-world applications, whether it's emergency aid deliveries overseas or general transportation of goods to hard-to-get areas here on Earth or beyond. And this is something to turn into a summer-long project. Just log your results. It would be a wonderful submission for a science fair. Or you can submit it to us. We're so curious to see what you guys are doing this summer.